Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkey. We're gonna go into Binding of Isaac, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do another normal run. I'll be honest, man, I'm a little bit stumped with the challenges. Um, I've had a lot of trouble with them. I guess let's do a cane run, right? Well, let's do a Samson run. I really like the Bloody Lust item now. The fact that you gain damage while getting hit. And uh, with the way I play Isaac, I get hit a lot, so it results in me getting a lot of damage, which is really nice. So, that's why I like Samson. I do think he's probably one of my more favorite characters, and I hated him previously, so that's a nice change, right? We'll just check out the curse room right off the bat and get rewarded with Cubby's paw, man. Um, I kind of want to check if the secret room is here with Mr. Boom. And other than that, I have no qualms about leaving Guppy's paw behind. So my damage should have gone up by taking two hits, which is really nice. So that'll make the rest of the floor really easy. I can't do that, obvious. Excuse me, I can't obviously do that the next floor. Because we'll be trying to get a deal with the devil. But for this floor, at least, it's okay to uh, take some preliminary damage. Um, I don't know if I want to lay down my heart already. My, Or, I mean, I don't know what if I want to use up my only bomb already try and check for the secret room, so I'm not wait on that. Golden key, perfect. Um, if I run across anything that needs to be opened with it, so far there's nothing. You could check out the shop, but I don't think there's much point in that, and I'm glad I didn't use my mom now, because then I wouldn't have been able to open up this tinted rock. I'm going to wait to pick up that soul heart until the next floor, or until I'm ready to be done with this floor, that is. Hopefully I won't leave it behind, but that Hopefully will result in me getting the devil room next floor and potentially getting some extra damage or something. That's how you build a run, by getting soul hearts floor one and then using them correctly to, uh, you know, have success, which is nice. I wouldn't even mind if I get hit in this room that much because that would make the boss fight faster because I have more damage, obviously. Yeah, there we go. Got hit. Don't even care. And luckily that didn't go onto my soul heart, which would have sucked. I guess I could... Uh, if I end up like losing my soul hearts or something, or get hit, getting hit next floor, I could just go ahead and um, take Guppy's paw, eat, and that might be worth it just to get that Della room. Maybe, perhaps, we'll see. And I will try to kill Monstro here. It's getting a little bit sketchy, but I have good damage because I've taken like four hits, so that has raised my damage by a significant amount. That's raised my damage by about, I think about four, which is just really good. So Monstro should go down quite quickly, as it turns out, and we get a really good item in Magic Mushroom, as it turns out. So I'll go ahead and clear the rest of the floor, or the one other room that there is, and then I'll go ahead and go down to the next floor, taking my Soul Heart with me. And I really wish I had a bomb right now, um, but I don't. Just go in the shop, just to see that it exists. I had a golden key, so why not, right? And the shop does in fact exist, this has been confirmed. And we moved down to the next floor with another HP upgrade and Magic Mushroom, which is awesome. So, yeah, if I get hit once, or twice I suppose, I have no problems with using Guppy's Paw to guarantee that I'll get a double room. Because, like, with Magic Mushroom, I already have pretty good damage, which is nice. And another damage up, another HP up. So far, this Samson run is already looking good. Two damage ups along with two HP ups. And they're both in the same item as well, which is just great. So, great start for Samson. I like to see that. And uh, Guffy's Paw is a space for item for the future as well. Um, it has already saved me one win. And I wouldn't be surprised if it saved me more in the future. I got a win that I... W I got a win using Guffy's Paw that I would not have gotten without Guffy's Paw, that is. So, that's always nice to hold on to. And I'll go ahead and use this on this uh, Tinder Rock right here. Why not? I'll get myself a golden chest. I guess that's one reason why not. But if I get a key or anything, I might as well go ahead and open that. Because golden chests are good. And they usually are worth opening. Every once in a while, you'll come across the troll one, which is not so much. But for the most part, golden chests are worth it, I would say. So I try to open them as much as possible, you know, whenever I have the keys to allow me to. And we're ready for our boss fight already. There's our key. I'm going to just go ahead and go back and open up that golden chest. And hopefully it gives me a bomb. So I can open up that tinted rock that I spotted. Well, I profited by a scent. That's okay. Maybe we'll get bombs after killing the boss. Who knows? We can hope for that. We can hope for, like, matchbookers. I'm another tinted rock in this room. Okay. 
Yeah, matchbook would be a really good drop here because I could get um, two bombs out of that and then I could open up both tinted rocks. So that's what I'm hoping for here. It's pretty rare when you hope for bombs from your boss. And there's also, I could also get the crate and that could give me a bomb as well. So there's two different things that could give me bombs potentially from this boss. I'm just very thankful it's not like a uh, horseman or anything. So he should go down really fast because magic mushroom is just so good and I'm really glad it is now um, in the boss item pool. It's nice to see and it's not even all that rare. So let's go ahead and, and wow. Well, this is not good because this means I can get angel rooms and I don't want angel rooms, but one thing we will do, heck, if I took that though, it would make me half guppy. I have an idea. I just realized something I could do and I will do it if the devil room is still there when we get back. I'm not sure if that will be the case or not. The devil room might be disappeared when we go back. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But, if it isn't disappeared, I'm going to eat my hearts and then take Dead Cat, I guess. Because Guppy's Paw and Dead Cat do go really well together, and that would also get me, you know, halfway to Guppy. Devil Room here? Oh, the Devil Room's gone. Well, unfortunately, I thought of that idea after, the devil, after I left the Devil Room. So, there's not too much I could have done about it, I suppose. But, we should be okay as things currently stand. We have Guppy's Color, so now we're already... We're also two-thirds of the way to Guppy, so all we need is to do is get Guppy's head, Guppy's tail, or Guppy's hairball. So there's three other Guppy items, you know, that we could potentially get during this run. It's kind of sad, though, man. If I had just taken that uh, nine lives, it would be Guppy right now, but oh well, you know. It's One thing I will admit is it's definitely more fun to play without Guppy. It's not as much fun to play with Guppy, at least early game, because it's just a little bit too easy really speed down and tears down come on man it's awful um i will visit that curse room but not yet i'll be back for you i will be back i will be back so i'm really slow now so this is a little bit worrying admittedly man if only i was guppy right now things would be so much better but i'm not too worried about it um you know we have crap tears at the moment too so i wouldn't spawn that many flies if i was guppy but the the flight would be nice i suppose Destroy you guys. Uh, I see a potential location for a secret room right about now. Um, right next to me. If only I had these bombs last floor, could have opened up some tinted rocks. I'll check here just to see if it is. And it was our secret room. That's awesome. Get a key out of it. I guess I could have blown up some mushrooms or something, but no thanks. I already have magic mushroom, and that's the main thing that you want from the mushrooms. So I don't know how much that really would have benefited me. I'm just really hoping we get a devil room in this floor and it has like Guppy's head in it or something because otherwise I'm going to be kicking myself all run. If we, As long as we become Guppy, it's fine. But if I don't become Guppy this run, I will be kicking myself for not taking that. Taurus, I believe, uh, gives you random invincibility effects. I think that's what it does. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, well if I take one more hit, I do have a Guppy's paw and I'm not afraid to use it, so... Because I don't value red health as all that important. I more value red health as a means to an end. A means to obtain damage. And there's the uh, Taurus going off. That's what it does. It's pretty nice. I value it as a pretty okay item. We get a Soul Heart back. Which means I don't have to, um, like, eat Guppy's Paw. Yet, at least. I might still have to do that later on. As things currently stand, I do not have to, though. Uh, I'm very slow. This is, a, this is a problem. I would be, I would consider myself quite slow in speed right now. Oh, that was close to me taking damage. Destroy you. And one last little dude. He's appearing in tricky locations to hit. A bomb. I could lay this down and hit like four mushrooms. I already have magic mushroom though, so I don't really need to do that. I also don't really need to access the shop with only three cents. I don't know how helpful that would be. I don't think it would be all that helpful. Personally, you might disagree with me on this. Oh, come on, son. Really? I really don't like this dude. But I got hit. I took took some damage, and that resulted in me gaining damage as well, which is just awesome. So you always want to stay um, horizontal from this dude, and that makes it a lot easier. So I only took one hit. Another devil room. Perfect. Maybe we can redeem ourselves here. Oh, come on, son. I can't justify taking that for two hearts. 
If it was one heart, maybe. I'm really slow. No, I can't I can't justify that for two hearts though. It's just too many soul hearts. If it was Spirit of the Night, maybe, because spectral tears are really nice, but Man, I could use a speed upgrade right about now. That's uh, kind of what's on my mind. So, two Devil Rooms so far has been kind of bad. I don't know if Devil Rooms were nerfed or anything, because I know like when Rebirth first came out, they're really good. And I admittedly have not played Rebirth nearly as much as maybe a lot of people have, so I'm not sure. Curse of the Maze put us in a weird location, but that's fine. Um, who knows? You know, maybe Devil Rooms have been nerfed, and they, like give good items less often or something. This is a sketchy room with my speed down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. At least we get damage when you get hit. That's what I love about Samson, because I take hits, but I'm like, oh man, I got hit, but, you know, damage up. Hey. It's actually not that bad. I believe the damage that you get perhaps stacks with Magic Mushroom? I don't know. It doesn't seem, my tears don't seem all that much bigger, so maybe they, maybe it doesn't stack with Magic Mushroom. I don't know. I gotta be careful not to destroy that poop in the middle, because I want to kill this guy unmolested, if at all possible. Oh, perfect. Might as well just run into him when I'm invincible. That invincibility effect does a lot of damage, so that is really nice when that does go off. I'm a fan of it. Oh, nope. I'm not a fan of that, though. But, oh well. Ouch. Lots of damage was taken. Well, I have lots of red hearts for a reason, right? Let's be careful here. I almost feel weird if I don't earn a deal with the devil. It feels weird having to try to earn one because I've had like, I've had goat's head so much recently. That's an item that may possibly, oh, and I walk into the spikes, wonderful. I did not even see those. They're in the corner and they're hidden by the minimap in my defense. They're not in a location where I could really see them. I should have known that they were there just because the room should be symmetrical in the other corners of spikes, but I don't know, I wasn't paying that close of attention, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I had to eat one red heart, but oh well, it's not that big of a deal. At least I have crazy damage now, so that's really nice. What? Oh, Curse the Maze. That's why I went uh, in the exact same room. This room can be sketchy. Especially with my speed down, but we're good. And our boss will be Chubb. Be careful. Uh, Taurus invincibility effect would be really nice right about now. I don't know if that's on a timer or if it's just random. Like, I said it was random. I realized that I said that, but it might be on a timer or something. I just wouldn't know. Uh, we still could get angel rooms, which I really don't want to, because angel rooms are bad. But we get nothing. Okay, well, I've already visited my item. Let's just go down to the next floor. Um, who knows? Maybe if I get a guppy item, I could definitely do the boss rush. Uh, we're already in Depths 1, only 11 minutes in, so if I get Guppy's head this floor, or Guppy's tail, or, you know, some sort of Guppy item, I will definitely do the boss rush, because that flight would justify my um, really slow speed right now, and mean that I could do that. I wouldn't be comfortable doing the boss rush otherwise, unless I get some really good items, just because I'm a little bit too slow. I would take a ton of hits in the boss rush, but Samson does need to do that. For Platinum God, although I have no idea if I'll ever get Platinum God, it's looking less and less likely just because of um, how difficult the challenges are. Com at least, oh, Mom's hands. No! I'm listening to music right now, so I can't really hear the Isaac sounds. But, is there only one hand, really? I'll just walk in circles. There was one hand in that room. I, didn't even know, I did not even know that that was possible, but apparently it is. You can get one hand in room. Now everyone knows. The world has now figured it out. I do kind of have to hustle a little bit, I guess, if I am going to at least give myself a shot. I mean, I do have two floors to potentially get the boss rush. I love this Taurus item. It's so good. Oh, did I get hit there? I can't tell. But it is... It's very helpful. So hard out of the chest. That's wonderful. You know what would be nice right about now? Um, Funk Soul Brother, but also, it would be really nice to get a speed up. I would appreciate that, if that were to happen. I'll go ahead and do the boss fight right now, and hopefully, like, get a speed up or something out of it. Monster 2, no! No one likes Monster 2. No one likes him. It would be cool to get a Taurus effect right about now. Oh, my goodness. I don't know, that was dumb. But, oh well. Let's hit him. He's going to jump in the air. He's going to fire tears. He's going to jump again. 
and we get a Taurus effect. Good night, sir. This guy has a ton of health, man. It only took like, it only took about a fourth of Monster 2's health off because he has so much health. It's crazy. So he should have Brimstone lasered there. Maybe he'll do it there. No, maybe not so much. Just get him in the jumping pattern. As long as I'm, you know, paying attention to what I'm doing, which admittedly does not always happen. Um, this shouldn't be too difficult. I want to get him to Brimstone laser. There we go. Get some hits off of, on him while he's doing that. It's really quite easy. So I've, I've taken like one hit, but that's okay. Oh, two now. Be careful, be careful. Oh, and I walked right through the laser. Okay. Um, Necronomicon, maybe that didn't damage Monstro because he was in the air? I don't think he took any damage off of that. Two more hits, roughly. Oh, man. All the damage I took during that was just depressing. All stats up, though. That's okay. Man. I don't know what's going on, man. Four items. None of them were worth taking. <laughs> Those are like the four worst items in the Devil Room pool, too. But at least we got a Halo all stats up, so that is a damage up and health up as well. I think it was health up. I can't quite tell if my health went up or not. Like, I'd assume so. Health is a stat. But right now we're just looking for the item room. And then I'm going to skedaddle from this floor. So we're going to rely on next floor for that guppy's head. Unless I come across like a red chest or something and get it. Which, you know, could definitely be a thing. I'm really hoping it's a thing. Taurus. A little bit too late, but better late than never. Alright, so here is our item room. So hopefully that will contain something good. Could also contain something bad. And I will have to look around a little bit to see if I can't... Oh, okay. Invincibility. Perfect. Just go ham on these fools. And I completely fail. Necronomicon should take, like, all of them out, which it did wind up doing. One key out of it. And I have a golden key, so I have unlimited keys for the floor. Just trying to quickly look to see if there's any tinted rocks. I'm not seeing any. I'm pretty sure that there's no tinted rocks on this floor. I don't know what this is. Ball of tar, six feet. Um, that means I looks like I have a tar trail that I drag behind me. I guess we'll go ahead and access the shop with 14 cents. Um, I have no idea what that is. It looks like a toaster with a piece of bread in it. So we'll just donate everything to the machine. I do have to work on that. I have to get stuff donated. And the donation machine is stuck at about 90 cents or so, I believe. And uh, we are starting to get to the point where I have to hustle a little bit if I want to make it to the boss rush. Still not sure if I want to attempt it. I mean, I do have a health, and I could, you know, munch on these red hearts and potentially... Um, I guess I'm shooting tar tears occasionally as well, which is actually really good if that's the case. 1621, so I have, like, three and a half minutes to get to the boss room. I don't know if it's going to happen. We wasted a lot of time on that floor, so... That was a very, very long floor. Acropolis 1. So, if I find the boss room, like, right away, if I go down the correct path, I'll probably be able to attempt the boss rush if I so desire. But that would mean I have to, like, skip the item room. So I don't know about that. This does not feel like a strong enough room to do a boss rush. So I might just go ahead and say screw it. Help up, come on. 48 hour energy. Does not help with uh, Guppy's Paw, but it is definitely a good pill. So I appreciate the, uh, the thought put into that. And it looks like, yeah, this tower does slow enemies down, which is always a nice effect. Unless we come across the item room right away and then additionally the uh, boss room right away. That would be nice. Be careful. Always be careful. So item room, if you could save me now, that would be so good. Just have like a speed plus damage plus health up. I don't think that's a thing. I don't think there's such an item in the game, but not sure what flat... Oh, flat penny. Never mind. I thought that was like a, a tier effect or something. But flat penny will uh, cause a whole ton of... Yeah, sure. We'll let's try it. Risk it for the biscuit. Amnesia. That was a terrible decision. Flat Penny will cause um, keys to drop as I pick up money, though, so it's it's really quite good. I'm tempted. I'm too tempted. Okay, well, I had to eat another red heart there, but, you know, at least I take damage here, so my damage does go up, which is really going to help for the boss fight of this particular floor. Be careful here. This can be bad with low speed. Managed to get through it, though. So my damage should be really good right about now. Which is awesome. Another scent. Don't need it. Oh, that's a dead end room. Nice, because I don't like running through those with little speed. 
Oh, a black heart. Cool. A free black heart. I will always take one of those when offered. Oh, there's mom's hands in that room. I had no idea because I can't hear the game sounds, man. I should have been able to, you know, take the cue with the fact that the door is locked. Oh, that was so close to hitting me. Four hands in a room. That's the first time I've seen that many hands. And that is an amnesia pill. Not a huge fan of that particular pill, to be honest. Took some hits that room. I didn't want to, but it happened. This is the case sometimes. Can you please just pop up? That would be nice of you. Economicon does nothing, of course, while this guy's head is firmly locked in place and he's not vulnerable. Oh, great. Well, this is pointless. Pointless, more pointless than like a unsharpened pencil. Uh, monkey's paw, I believe that gives you... Uh, we have okay, we have an okay amount of keys, so I'm just gonna roll with monkey's paw now. I believe it gives you a black heart when you get down to um, like one heart left or something. Are there any tinted rocks are in this room? Man, this has been an untinted rock run. Normally you get quite a few of them over the course of a run. Not so much this one, though. So my damage output is just insane because I've been hit a lot, and that's Again, why I like Samson so much. I take a lot of hits, so therefore, I get a lot of bonus damage from him. It's nice, the way it works out like that. And we should be... I imagine we're probably too late for the boss rush at this point, right? Um, 1931, yeah, we'd have to kill the boss in the next, like, 20 seconds, which isn't going to happen. Sorry to burst your bubble, but... We will not be doing a boss rush, and of course we come across the boss room, like, just a little bit too late, but... Oh well, I mean, the main thing here is just to get the devil win. Uh, provided we even earn it, or just to get another mom's heart win to work towards that. Okay, Necronomicon did a fair amount of damage. Man. I guess I'm invincible here. Might as well take advantage of the invincibility effect to uh, get some damage off. You have to be really careful about mom's foot stamping down. Oh, I have no idea what hit me there, but something did, apparently. Gonna have to eat Guppy's paw again. Like, I'd probably be already dead from Guppy's Paw. This has been such a strong run, but at the same time, I've taken so much damage to this video. A speed up, which is nice. And an angel room, which is usually terrible. I will take the prayer card. I will use it once. Free health upgrade. Okay, I'm not really upset with that. Still would have preferred a devil room, but whatever. So, I will get a health upgrade for that, which makes up for the health that I wasted during the uh, mom fight itself. Oh, all of a sudden my damage is not that great because, of course, um, I had like the full effect of bonus damage from Samson last floor, and now I don't have that anymore. That was a little bit worrying. I think all the creep is dissipated. It's hard to see. Um, destruction, I believe, destroys all the rocks in the room, so if I come across like one of those big rooms with a ton of rocks in it, I'll go ahead and use that. Oh, that was really disappointing. And invincibility takes care of him pretty easily. I will take cartridge for an additional, additional, mind you. Now I have two effects where I can potentially uh, gain invincibility. From game cartridge as well as my rages building item, whatever it's called. So that's pretty awesome. I have a couple, like, almost game kit effects now. Well, one of them really is the game kit, and the other one is just temporary invincibility and contact damage. So we'll go with that. Which way? North. I had a feeling about it, but it didn't work out. Um, there's like X's in all these rocks, so I almost don't even know what the tinted rocks are supposed to look like. This rock here looks a little bit different. I'm not sure, though. I guess it would be an okay room to use my rune in, but I'm going to wait until I come across one of those really big rooms. Just to make sure that I give myself the best chance of like finding a hidden tinge rock or something that I didn't previously notice. Destroy you. Oh, that was really nice that my invincibility effect didn't go off until then, because if it went off earlier, that would have sucked. Battery, I'm not even tempted a little bit about that one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, pinky eye is okay. Definitely is. That's in no, by no stretch of the imagination worth it. I felt worried about mom's hands this room, but I guess we're okay. I was, like, making sure I didn't see any shadows on the ground. I was like, uh-oh, shadows coming. The shadows fall. Good man. By the way, 
that room went okay. I'm really starting to start starting to have to worry. I mean, I've gotten so lucky with health this run, so I haven't really had to worry about health up to this point, but it's getting to the point, man, where I gotta start worrying about stuff like this. Oh my goodness. Well, might as well take advantage of Game Kid while I have it. And now I also have contact invincibility damage, sure. Tears down. Why would I even consider that? I'm just continuing to pop so hard because I really need to get that devil room, man. Really need it. And then if I get Guppy, all of a sudden the run is saved. All I need is a Guppy's head in a devil room. Or a hairball. Or, you know, just any Guppy item whatsoever. I'm not too picky. I'm going to use this, by the way. Because, like, why would you not? And it does look like there's a tinted rock in the room, so it paid off. Oh, there's a brimstone dude. Be careful. Or there's even two brimstone dudes. Scary. Oh, and I can't even shoot them now because I'm invincible. This is like the one room where that's kind of an annoyance. I would try to angle tears in there. Like that. Amnesia. Alright. A whole bunch of bad pills. Oh, that's the wrong button. A whole bunch of bad pills this run so far. I wanted to take the cartridge with me. I just didn't want the amnesia pill. Forgot it drops both. Nickelodeon characters. Interesting enemies, to say the least. I looks like I had to do a full clear of this floor, which kind of sucks. But if I get a devil room, that's that's all that matters. It's the only thing I'm worried about. So, um, Scopulus, not Scopulus. What's this guy's name? Whatever his name is, he's he's an annoying dude to deal with sometimes. A little bit of contact damage, emphasis on little bit. So I just need him to stick his tail up in the air. That's where the real damage happens when that occurs. There we go. When he fires the uh, exploding bomb thingies, when that happens, this is going to be a really hard enemy just to like do any damage on whatsoever, because his tail disappears so quickly. So it's a long fight, but it's not really what I would call a difficult one. I get like one hit off. The tar luckily like stops him in his tracks, so he doesn't surge towards me, which is nice. Avoidance. Stick your tail out in the air. That's the fun way to do things. You can do it. He's like half dead. This is what I have observed so far. No hits off. There we go. Tail in the air. Looking like a fool with your tail in the air. I got a damage up. No devil room though. Man. Well, let's at least... I guess that gives us more of a chance of a devil room for our next floor, right? So that's a good thing, I would say. Because if we can get a Shay all kill, I would say that's a good thing. I would always say that. So, contact damage. Might as well take advantage. Rhyming, accidentally. I hope I just, like, clutch the direction of the boss and get to it really quickly this floor. That would be nice. Oh, this is sketchy. They're getting close. Hey, perfect. I got the invincibility just when I needed it. It's really nice when things work out like that, right? Luckily took no damage. I'm not sure how I didn't take damage during this room, but I didn't, I suppose. And I think my peeper eye took out one of those two brimstone guys. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. This is this is scary. Or maybe it's not. Maybe they all proceed in a, uh, the exact same pattern. Oh, that was dumb, but whatever. It's like Pac-Man all over again. Yeah, it looks like they all proceed in the same pattern in this room, so it's really not that bad if you think about it. A key. I'm not even, like, worried about picking that up at all, because it's just not necessary. Oh, that's bad. I need to, like, eat hearts as well. Oh, wonderful. I can't do anything now. It's going to wear off my invincibility and Necronomicon effect. That was clutch from the Dry Bones dude. Please be the boss path. No! I was really hoping that that would work out. It didn't, but... You know, you gotta live with it sometimes. Invincibility! Taste it. Enjoy it. Have fun. That is so powerful, I swear. I might as well take that right now. I'll probably have to eat it. Ah, I can just do that. And I don't even lose the Eternal Heart, which is nice. Man, how do you avoid the, the damage this room? I'm not really sure. Oh, wonderful. 
Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Making these eyes cross-eyed. Yeah, I'm not really sure how you could avoid damage in this particular room. You just walk back and forth and they still hit you sometimes. It's getting close. I can definitely say that, assuredly now. It's getting close to this definitely might not be a devil kill sort of run. I mean, I'm not even guaranteed to win the devil room, so who knows. I don't think I've taken anything from a devil room yet, so, you know, I might... Oh, that was so bad. Um, so I might even, like, earn an angel room and get to go to the cathedral, which would be fun if it wouldn't kill me, which it almost assuredly would. Please have soul hearts. Regular hearts. Okay. Well, at least we found our devil room, so that's a good thing. Right? You know, I don't need the red hearts for anything anymore, so I just might as well just start popping this. Everything dies. Love this item. This Taurus item is really good. Definitely the champion of this run, so I should be at a full Bloody Lust now. So I should be doing lots and lots of Bloody Lust damage. There's enemies left? Where are they? Apparently there were. Mom's Pearl. Um, yeah, if I could get any sort of soul heart drops at all, it would be very nice. Right about now. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Oh, man. It's very difficult to not take damage during this mom's heart fight sometimes. Uh, an Economicon is going to help. I'm just going to eat um, my red hearts because there's no reason not to when I only have one left. Like, there's there's zero reason to not eat them. I mean, I might as well, right? doesn't benefit me at all to keep them because there's no more regular devil rooms or anything. Stand here. This is my favorite spot to stand when... I'm doing this fight and just look at the sheer damage. It's gonna be unfortunate though, I have to take damage during the dang it. Economicon. I'm gonna have to take damage during Oh, it's going the opposite way than it normally does. It's not good. I took a ridiculous amount of damage. I unlocked the blue baby? Really? You say so? I'm gonna be have to I'm gonna have to be so careful. I guess that might have been our ninth heart kill, right? So I have six soul hearts. Can I do it? I'm going to guess no, but I don't know that for certain yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's no way... Oh! Invincibility. I was going to say there's no way I don't take damage there, but I guess with invincibility I don't. If you're invincible. Is this an enemy? It's not. It's just a turret. He somehow did not hit me. There's supposed to be an enemy left. Allegedly. What? The room's not done. <sighs> I'm a little bit worried now. Empress will be some nice bonus damage against the Devil Room, providing we make it there. It's definitely not guaranteed that we will at this point. I think this is probably my best example of playing really, really poorly so far. You know, I'm sure I'll have worse runs than this, but just in terms of like how I played myself, this is this has been the worst run. Uh, with my current item set up, I should have easily won this run. But, we're only going to go uphill from here. That's, dang it. Dang it. That's the overall consensus. A room with uh, some of those, dang it, man. A room with some of those fires where I could actually um, get to them would be great at this point in time. Be really careful against these guys. Um, if I could just, like, get a chance against the devil, I'd feel okay about myself, but... Um, we gotta get to the devil room first, obviously. I'm gonna guess that it's south. Oh, boy, this room, though. This room, though... I took care of one of the guys. Be careful. Please pop up, like, right now. Thank you. Two soul hearts left. <laughs> Man... bomb. I was hoping Mom's Pearl would clutch it for me and drop a soul heart. It still might. The opportunity is still available. No invisible guys and ghosts. What? 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 Uh, I really don't like the ghosts because, you know, like, no one likes this enemy. It's probably the worst enemy in Rebirth so far. Oh, I took damage on that? Ouch. That was a bad decision. I didn't choose to take damage, obviously, but... Just the overall decision to uh, run into that ghost when my invincibility was about to run out. Economic gun goes off a little bit too late. 
All right, Empress, let's go. Let's try to get through this room without taking any hits. Um, no guarantees. I have to fight two dark ones, so um, this definitely could end badly. Yeah. Oh, I respawned with half of a soul heart because of Guppy's collar. Interesting. What if I just like kept infinitely res respawning and Guppy's collar just clutched it for me? That'd be awesome. But likely, no. Oh, that's so close. My speed is still fairly low, so that's one thing to worry about. Just move up and down whenever he charges. All right, that's what I'm trying to do here. And the tar tears are really helping out. That was close. What if we won the devil? This would be the greatest comeback of all time. Bar none, I think. Two black hearts. Nope. All right, no more ghosts. Oh, they're the bane of my existence. That's exactly why. Hey, I respond again. <laughs> Wow, I keep respawning. Okay, I'll take it. I don't know if I really deserve this, these, uh, this opportunity to keep going, but I will definitely take it. I'm liking how it's spawning me with a soul heart instead of a red heart. I'm not really sure why that's the case, but hey. Are we done for good? Oh, we keep going with the guppies? How much longer will this go on? Yeah, I'll, sure, I'll, I'll just keep attempting until I eventually uh, get rooms done without taking any damage. I'm not sure how that's going to work against the Devil Fight. I mean, with the damage I have currently, I, I guess I could eventually do a Devil Fight without taking any damage. I mean, I've done it before. Admittedly, my damage the last time I did it was higher than it is now, but... Who knows, maybe it's like glitched with the Necronomicon effect or something, because I see the Necronomicon go off like before I respawn every time. That would be funny if there was like an infinite respawn glitch with uh, Guppy's Color. I'd definitely take it. I would take it. If that's what you gotta do to get a a another piece of the negative done. I guess we're not working towards the Polaroid yet, we're still working towards the negative. Although, since I unlocked Blue Baby, I think that means I can go to the, um, to the Cathedral every time if I want to. So I can start working on the Polaroid as soon as I'm done with the negative now, which is awesome. Looking forward to that. Please don't kill me. Oh, that was close. Oh. Do I respawn? Oh, I'm dead for good now. All right, well, that was probably the worst you will ever see me play in terms of Isaac. I guarantee it will be better from here on out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Anyway, at least we got Blue Baby unlocked. That's the main thing, right? So, farewell.